Hi everyone, it's Don from Crux Seminatus with episode 5 of Pocket Money vs Professional Tools. Today I'll be looking at epoxy glue, which is two part glue um, in a special limited edition depressed um, way. So um, I've been using a two part epoxy for a long time, um, it's predominantly with uh, Forge World uh, models like the Cestus Assault Ram, things like that. Things are just far too heavy to be pinned. Uh, and I've been using this Evil Stick Rapid um, two-part epoxy. Comes with a little spatula there um, and a little tray for mixing it, but I'm just using a little card. So just to show you what this is like, just a tiny little drop uh, of either uh, substance there, or both substances, I should say. Um, be careful never to put the white cap on the red tube and vice versa, you'll never get them off. And I just mix with a cocktail stick because it's much easier than cleaning the the, um, the spatula thing that they give you. So I've just got two off cuts there or two gates of uh, resin and I'm just going to stick them together just to, to see how strong the bond is. Um, <clears throat> this is the what I'd call the professional tool and then the one I'm just about to show you now came from Poundland. So guess what? Guess how much it was? Go on, guess, guess. Yep, you're right, it was a quid, uh, a dollar or whatever. It comes with a nice wee handy uh, plastic clamp and, as I say, a wee spatula thing for, for mixing it up. I prefer this design because you get an exact mix 50-50 uh, because the plungers are obviously joined up, uh, whereas the other ones, the two separate tubes, yeah, you could you could make a bad batch if you, you put too much hardener or too much resin in. And you can see there's quite a lot of liquid in there. You know, I was wondering what they were hiding behind the um, the sticky label. So just basically cut off the the cap, and um, you see it flying away there. Hey, and um, just basically squeeze out um, the required amount. And I'm just going to use the same rough um, amount that I used with the other one. So just a little bit there, and uh, always try and find your cap if you can in a pig side of a desk, and then. Um, uh, one top tip is to store it upright so that the air bubbles go to the top so it doesn't dry at the top, which is something that I learned from the reading the instructions. How about that? Shocker, eh? Anywho, uh, so on with that uh, cocktail stick, mix, 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 mix. You get a, a, a heat out of it. It's called a exothermic reaction, which I really like the sound of. I wish I could use that in more conversation. Um, <clears throat> so just to, to be fair, I used kind of the same amount in the same sort of test. Uh, as the other one. Um, actually, it's not as fair on the pound shop one because the, the contact isn't right. So 1936 is the time I put it on and uh, it was at 2007. So, you know, a good half hour there to, to let it dry. And uh, let's see, um, this is the professional one, if you like, the more expensive one. And, yep, it's solid. There's no mucking around there. Yep, nice and solid. Uh, I give it a flex. Uh, this one benefits because the two pieces actually butt up against them, each other, whereas the pound shot one doesn't. So the pound shot one's at a huge disadvantage already, uh, but I didn't realise that till afterwards. So yeah, put it this way, that's that's not likely to break. Okay, and this is the pound shop one. Again, it's had a couple of minutes less to cure, but you'll see there's a massive gap where I haven't like lined up the pieces properly. And that was my fault, not its fault. And still, it's strong enough to be able to hold. I mean, it does flex, but it's because the, the actual key area between the, the contact points is a much, much smaller. However, boing, boing, and boing again, and you'll see that, oh, one more for good luck, there you go. And um, you'll see that it's uh, pretty solid. So, you know, if you had like an, a dreadnought arm or something glued on with that, um, and you, you sort of dropped it, fair chance it would actually survive that so yeah quite happy and I'm just going to uh, do a sort of stress test to see which one of them breaks first and well you, yeah that's me putting the pressure on and neither of them break so in a nutshell they're both as good as each other however the pound shop one comes in the dual syringe which is much easier to use and it was a pound compared to uh, eight pounds for the Araldite or the evil stick stuff so it's a no-brainer pound shop all the way go and get some we'll thank you for it later cheers guys if you'd like to comment like and subscribe we'd appreciate it thank you cheers bye bye